Hello everyone, this is James. What's going on guys, Josh here. And uh, we're headed to the Bassmasters Classic. We actually just grabbed us some grub from the, the RBs in oh. Emporia and we're headed to the Classic. We have 1,317 more miles to go. So if we drive straight through, we might be there 9.20 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> not happening no. but you no. know I mean that just is what it is well some people probably say we're being tight wads for uh, not flying um, and some of that is the truth but also where we had to do our redo our license and all that to go flying we haven't really can we even do that can you still fly right yeah, now you can just fly till October October so but, okay so now we're just being tight wads then well no we just want to be we want to see sights and yeah. Do stuff like that. We just like driving. Yeah. So we're we just enjoy the trip. I mean, it yeah. ain't bad. Yeah, we're just enjoying the trip. Cruising on down. We actually just crossed into Carolina um, here just a few minutes ago. Looks like we're getting ready to run into some rain. Yeah. And it's been storming down there for, you know, we've been paying attention. We got some of, uh, well, we got Jason Hensley, our pro staff guy. He's down there fishing. Um, we got Ron from RBT Baits. Yeah, RB, Ron down there. We got Casey Reed. Oh, he's on our team, but it's a friend of ours. Casey yeah. Reed's down there fishing. So, and they have had nothing but bad storms uh, for the last two days. Yeah, it's been nasty. And, and, and Possum Kingdom Lake is just like a mud hole now. Yeah, it's almost as red as that truck we just passed. <laughs> yeah. Or almost as red as my shirt. Anyway. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to keep you all up to date on our trip and We'll be touching back base with you here in just a few. Yeah. See you guys. Well, everyone, just doing a little update. We've been driving now. We've got it knocked down to, we're in Georgia. I think we're in nine, we're in 900 and something miles. 958 left. miles left. Woo! 13 hours. <laughs> we roll it. It's about like a trip from to Florida from home now. That's how the distance we have. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's been a real good trip. Um, yeah. It's starting to get a little dark, so we figured we'd go ahead and do a little update. But like I said, we just crossed in to Georgia. We just crossed the big old Savannah River. It's beautiful. Yeah. And uh, we passed a lot. We passed a lot of good water that looks just super fishy. <laughs> yes, we have. I wish we had a rod. I wish we, you know, sometimes I wish we weren't going to look at fish and stuff. I wish we were just going fishing. Yeah. But, uh, but we love you guys, so we want to go do coverage for you guys. Yeah, yeah, we're doing this for you. Just remember that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a good trip. We're just heading down here. And we'll uh, I guess we're going to wait till we get past Atlanta. Yep. Get past that craziness, and we're going to find a place to stay. It looks like we're going to run into some yeah. pretty wicked storms. Yeah, of course, when we get back on here, there's another storm of brewing. Yeah. But yeah, like Josh was saying, we're going get through Atlanta and then we're gonna to try to find a place to rest our head for the night just hey, to beat that Atlanta traffic in the morning we gotta show our stickers we need to show our oh look at this thing Josh is so we're right. trying to pick up more subscribers so we're gonna be down at the classic and if you see one of these and you you've watched I mean that by this time the classic be over but yeah, maybe but, maybe we might be able to put this video but out maybe before. we can do it but if not if you see one of these things, just stick it somewhere at the club. We didn't do it. Somebody else did it. Somebody else must have did it. Um, so, so I guess I guess we'll see you guys probably once we get to the room. You know, like do a little update. But yeah, well, we're just gonna keep cruising on and just gonna keep on being sidekick. Yeah. And, James, uh, James driving tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let him take over tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, but we didn't knock it down. We just stopped and got fuel once. Big so, bag of jerky. Yeah, we got a bag of jerky. So, but other right. than that, other than that, we're just gonna keep on riding. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the tail. Peace out. Well, we're here in. Look, we're on outside of Birmingham. Yeah, and we just woke up and took some showers. Right, hit the road. Shade and you know what else happens after that <laughs> <laughs> but but we are getting ready to walk out the room go grab some grub yeah, complimentary breakfast nine and a half hours something like that yeah 
But the place we stayed at, I mean, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's got one place wanted two hundred some dollars. Yeah. So this yeah. was what one hundred fifty some bucks. I don't yeah. pay that much money for a room that we're gonna stay in just a couple of hours. Mm. We got off the road at what like one something. Thirty two o'clock. Something like that. Yeah. No, it was. It was ridiculous. Pretty good. Much we should have known when we walked up in there and they had a big ball in the middle of the floor of water rolling over that we were probably out of our price range. Yeah, you know, you know, you got balls of water over them. Yeah, so too much money. Yeah, way too much money. So, but, so we're hoping to be able to hit something today. Yeah, Bass Pro or Academy or yeah, something. So, that's our goal today and get there. We should get there at a decent time. Like you said, Josh said, was we got like nine hours or something left, so it's like 600 and some odd miles. Yeah something so we're home stretch so we're gonna go grab some breakfast we'll see y'all in a little bit oh we never been to that one take the exit we are now well we're gonna make us a little detour i said detour it's just right off the, the beat path here is the right lane to turn on to we're gonna US stop we're gonna stop and uh check out this bass pro every time we go out of town i don't know if everybody else does every time we go out of town we always try to find the Bass Pro, like just knock them off a list. So, anyways, we're we'll going here and see what we see. All of them are about the same, I guess, but mm -hmm. all the aquariums are always different. Turn right, then yeah. turn right so, onto US 80 East. Turn right, maybe we'll come out here with a nice right bass boat. What do you think the wives do? To turn left. I don't know. They won't know for a week. Yeah, we got at least a week we can enjoy it. Yeah. And then we ain't got to show it to them then. It's true. We'll just hide it. Yeah, not unless we put it in their name, I and mean, we ain't got to tell them then either. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we're going to walk up here in this Bass Pro and see what's different, see if there's anything new. I think. My wife's got a birthday coming up. Oh, yeah. That's about how it normally works out. When your wife, when it's y'all's anniversary or your birthday or whatever, you always manage to get something nice, like a, something big, a fishing yeah. fish finder or boat or... Yeah. what I do. Yeah. You got you a good one there, man. Yeah, I wear the pants in my family. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's not listening. To this. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys in the Bass Pro. What? Oh yeah. Oh wow, it's a big. Is that one an alligator gar? Look at that thing. Anything
this is. Welcome to Louisiana. There we go. Pete, Louisiana beautiful. Well, it should be simple. We're here. Yeah. That's right. At least help the cause. Alright. Well, we are in Dallas. Texas now, finally. We drove about, what, 45 minutes, something like that, from where yeah. we're staying at. But there's a huge lake right here to the Bass Pro. There's a huge lake right there. We're gonna walk out behind the Bass Pro here in a little while and look at it. Look at this. Like, I just look at the big guard down there. Yeah. I just want this. Is, this is what we need if the one ejected shot. We would take up the whole one ejected shot. <laughs> This is insane. Look how far it is across there. What? Look how far across it is. This is insane. This is an awesome bass, bro. Awesome. This is by far the best bass, bro, we've been in for a long while. Most of the other ones have been Yeah, and it's full. Most of the other ones have been like a couple sections of strike cake, a couple sections of like other brands. Like we're this is all Bill Lewis. Lucky <laughs> crowd. This is just mega bass. Yeah. I actually got some of the booyah popping for the poppers here. Looks like something in that bush. Right there, see how long it is right there? I don't know. It smells fishy as crap though. Look at all that grass over there. We're moving to Texas. All one objective operations is gonna pick up and we're gonna move here. Sorry, it's Thursday. Thursday. We've got, got our days mixed up. So it's media day. We are loaded up, getting ready to head down. We we got in here late, stopping at a couple bass pro shops and eating dinner and all that slowed us down a little bit. But I mean we got finally got in bed about one o'clock. We edited up some video this morning. Uh, we're gonna hit a media day, talk to some of these pros, see how their days are going. I will tell you what, on the kayaking side. It's like the bite just cut on today because I mean one guy on there already has what was 110 inches. Yeah. That was at what Early. by nine o'clock, eight o'clock this morning. Yeah. So I mean that's firing up, so we're excited to uh see who they're gonna crown for that tomorrow. Uh Casey Reeb was up there doing really well uh yesterday. I don't know how he's doing now. Um 
And then Jason, he's been kind of struggling a little bit, but it's okay. We, we all have them days where we struggle. We just, it always sucks when you struggle at a big event. But, um, so anyways, we're going to get ready to head to um, the media day. It's just about a block or two down the way. So, um, but other than that, guys, we'll see you guys at media day. And then uh, we'll see y'all back here after that. We are here at Media Day. We're at the 2021 Bassmaster Classic. All right, it's finally go time. And it is a grind. Probably been the best practice I've ever had for a major tournament that I've ever fished in my entire life. I'm looking forward to getting out there. Who wants to know? Oh boy. So, how come, you, how come you ain't doing the, uh, how come you ain't fishing Bassmaster Classic this year? I mean, what was, it, what was the deciding factor you said I ain't gonna do it this year? Conflict of interest. You know what I mean? I got, like I said, we know what happened back in the day. I got accused of using steroids and things of that nature. And uh, it's just, it's that stigma, because I'm still built like I'm using them, and they yeah. don't believe that I quit using steroids. But me being wall to wall, treetop tall, like, it's, uh, uh, we're working, we're working through it, but basically yeah. steroids. Yeah, steroids. You think you're gonna, be, you're, gonna, you're gonna try to get through this and try to be back there next I'm year? I'm still maybe? going to fish it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still fishing up. I'll be fishing tomorrow. I'll yeah. be out there, yeah. Yeah. Me and Phil, we got a 10 foot John boat with a 440 on the back of it. They're going to show them up tomorrow. Yeah, it's too. an inboard 440 and a 10 foot John boat. It's nice. <laughs> it rolls. Yeah, yeah. Broke my camera off. That's right. <laughs> y'all follow one of All right, man. See y'all later. All right, guys. Just finished up media day. Had a good time. It's always fun to get in there and talk with them guys. And, you know, just see what they're throwing, see what baits they got on the on the deck and uh learning what they're doing and granted some of them probably ain't going to tell you the real story we know that they don't trust media at all but no i'm just kidding a lot of them are great guys but seriously yeah but seriously <laughs> <laughs> uh and i don't blame them because i'd probably do the same thing if oh, I, was I, wouldn't good tell, I wouldn't tell you nothing yeah i don't give a juice at all but uh but anyways it, it was like i said it was fun we're gonna head back to the room edit up some video uh, and get these up and uh yeah they're getting all set up for the classic here fort worth you can see where the expo is going to be um so we're going to go back though like I say edit a video go to the kickoff party and then uh maybe we'll do some video on the kickoff party i'm not sure we'll see what's going on but we'll talk to you guys later what's going on guys we are heading to day one of the expo we're gonna make it the next day yeah it just depends on what we get done today but uh we'll see i don't know we're, but we're gonna go up here and try to shoot some video on some products we also want to try to find some fishing reels uh hopefully they have it we've been wanting to get we've been wanting to get some uh spinner reels and maybe we're see a spinner reels they ain't been hard to find Tiger Warehouse ain't got nothing. So uh, when it comes to like spinner reels and stuff, like they got some of the cheaper ones, which work fine. But we've had them, and we want some some little bit better spinner reels. So anyways, we'll try to find some reels in here too for us. But I also do some product videos. Make sure if you haven't, you go subscribe to our YouTube channel because we got a lot of the interviews. We're gonna have a lot of the other videos, uh, product videos to come up. Some of them might get released once we get back depending on what time we have with editing. So uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can see a lot of those videos. But all right, we're gonna get on to the expo here and uh, see what we can see, see anything new, anything good. So, all right guys.
seven five inches is Joe McElroy, which means Mark Pendergram with two hundred and nine point two five inches for the state of Texas is going to be taken home for the first time ever in Bassmaster history. A kayak national championship powered by Tourney X. We're going to welcome out Brandon Angel Evangelist from Old Town, Ryan Lilly, to present the trophy in four words. Is here for your first ever national champion here for the kayak series powered by Tourney X. It, it's crazy. I'm so emotional right now. Uh, it's, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and to do it in my hometown, it's it's nothing better than that. Texas, Mark Pendergrass taking home twenty thousand dollars, a nice payday as well. That's gonna wrap up our kayak series for the. Uh, I'm Mark Pendergrass uh, from Fort Worth, Texas, and I just took down the Bassmaster Kayak Championship in my hometown. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the uh, vlog to the classic. I really hated that we had to end that video as quickly as we did. We did not get many um, pro interviews when it comes to the elite side of things. We did for media day, um, but we didn't get it there uh, like we normally do after each uh, each day. Um, we were actually coming back the following day because of uh, just getting back for work and all that stuff. We didn't have a, a we couldn't stay down there real long, and. Plus with the drive and all that, you know, you got day, two days and driving down there. So anyways, we just want to give ourselves time to get back, get to work. But um, we were able to get, you know, like say the kayak uh, interview. And But anyways, the reason why uh, we didn't get much from the expo, there really wasn't a lot. I mean, you know, I know things are still trying to recover back from, from COVID. So it's a struggle for a lot of companies to even have product there. So uh, we understand that. That's why it was hard to get, but so much... Uh, product videos there really wasn't nothing out that was like to me or to us screaming wow you know we got to film this so um that's why you see a lot of bass boats in it because that was kind of like what was the deal down there right now was just the bass boat stuff it really wasn't nothing that stuck out that we thought was you know that we should go shoot a video with so um a lot of apparel you know stuff you know mustang and all of them had their stuff down there but like I say we just uh, we did find us a few spinner reels. Like I said, we were trying to get us some spinner reels. So we ended up finding us a few spinner reels, which was crazy. Because on day one, if you didn't get your tackle at the expo on day one, it was kind of hard to get anything on day two and day three. So, um, well, we was able to get the, the rod, I mean, the reels, uh, get our setups done for, you know, our finesse fishing stuff and, and all that. So, but yeah, like I say, it was just, it was just kind of a, I don't know, it was a different it was a different classic for us. It was fun to be down there and, and meet up with everybody and talk with a lot of guys and, and all that. But it was just kind of different. You know, like I say, there wasn't a lot of product uh, that was wow down there. And plus the expo, man, it was all over the place. If you if you guys went to the expo, uh, let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Because it was, it was hot. I mean, I know Texas is hot anyways. But, you know, some of it's in the cattle barn. And it was hot. So, um, but other than that, guys, like I say, sorry the uh, we didn't get as much... Uh, you know, coverage when it comes to interviews with elites uh, and also, you know, product videos. We did some of the bass boat stuff, like I say. We, we just wasn't able to get a lot of product video. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below what you think about it, and we'll talk to you later, guys. See you.